Hi, I'm Dustin, a mechanical engineer here at Magnite. Today we're going to be talking briefly about nickel and copper foams and showcasing their ability to be cut using the same tooling that we use for their foams, plastics, and rubbers that we die cut. So first of all, what is nickel foam? Well, nickel foam is a 3D porous version of the commonly known metal nickel. It's a popular choice for use in electrodes and energy storage devices due to its high conductivity and large pore surface area, which is obtained through the lattice type structure. Copper foam, similar to nickel foam, is a 3D porous version of copper. It uh, can also be used for electrodes and energy storage devices, as well as catalysts for some reactions. Outside of energy storage uses, copper foam also has applications in areas such as firefighting, being used as a flame retardant. Medical industry, since it's non-toxic and harmless to humans, it can be used as filter media and up close within human contact. And both materials can be used as non-electrical insulators because they're analogous to how normal foams work in terms of deamplifying the sound as they pass through the medium by getting trapped in the small little holes and voids. Now let's take a look at the manufacturability of both nickel and copper foams. As you can see, the material is extremely ductile. It does not take much to compress or bend or cut the material, and thus we can cut it into many different complex shapes. Not just these electrodes, but we could cut it into even smaller and more intricate pieces for whatever needs you may have, whether it be energy storage devices or your own custom application. As you may notice, there are actually two different thicknesses of nickel foam sitting here on the table. One of them comes from this stock sheet. This is at 0.2 inches. The other is actually the same sheet that's been calendared down using two steel rollers. It's now sitting at 043. So here at Magnite, we have the ability to calendar down these materials to any thickness you may need accurately and efficiently and can take these thicker foams and turn them into thinner foams for whatever electrode uses or uh, applications you may need.